From the shores of the Ghana territory, the lighthouse stands proud at the James Fort. Through to the Cape, the Elmina Castle stands gracefully, rich in history and dancing with culture. The green scenes as you climb up the mountains at Ibri, the view of the botanical gardens, the lush nature at Kakum with its adventurous canopy walks and rare trees are just a sight to behold. Oh, and the falls will just soothe your nerves. And you can never go wrong with the monkey sanctuary at Tafi Atome or Wabeng Freeman. And with a daring spirit, you can venture to Paga to swim with the cross. So viewers, join me, Mr. Zeke, the real African Abrante, as we tour the wonderful sites and the rich tourist attractions Ghana is blessed with, right here on the green so on the beauty of Ghana show today, we are here at the Asha Fort, right on the Jamestown. We are going to learn about the history of the place and learn so much. So join me on the beauty of Ghana show, indeed, promoting Ghana's tourism for development. Today, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, you would attest to the fact that tourism is indeed a travel for pleasure or business outside people's normal environment. And to know more about these places of pleasure and to learn about the history of these notable landmarks and forts and castles in Ghana, the Beauty of Ghana show is here to provide you with all this information. We tell you the history about places in Ghana. We take you to places where you wish to see. The Beauty of Ghana show, indeed, promoting Ghana's tourism for development. Have you wondered where our colonial masters lived and ruled? Have you ever wondered where some of these notable landmarks still are in Ghana? In all, the Europeans built 27 forts and castles. And where I am standing right now is the Asha Fort, sitting right in the heart of Accra, where most of our forefathers lived, where most of the colonial masters you may have passed through Jamestown, you may have heard of the Asha Fort or the James Fort, or perhaps you may have passed through the Chalote Street Art Festival. But you know the history behind all these notable landmarks and events in the Jamestown. Join me, Mr. Z, the real African Abrante, as we tour and explore Jamestown to know the true beauty about this place. Indeed, it is the beauty of Ghana show, promoting Ghana's tourism for development. Thank you. So these are some of the prison rooms and some of the places where our fathers and our forefathers spent their colonial days under the colonial masters and European leaders before they were taken to the Western world to become slaves. As dark as this room may seem, this is where most of our fathers spent their last days before they were transported to the European countries and the Western world as slaves. So with me here, we have been at the Asha Fort right at Jamestown. We have learned a little about the history, the people who built this place, that was the Europeans. And this is where most of our fathers spent their last days before they were transported to Europe as slaves. So the fort opens to the general public from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. from Mondays to Saturdays and on public holidays. So let's pass through, let's learn about our history, let's learn about colonialism, let's learn about where our forefathers spent their last days before they were sent to the Western world to serve as slaves. So this is the Asha Fort. <laughs> Problem 
Jamestown is one of the earliest communities that emerged around the 17th century British James Fort. And the etymology of this place is amazing as the neighborhood houses numerous colonial buildings, clubhouses, and others. The James Fort is also notable for grooming many kids into becoming global boxing champions. The rise of Jamestown and Ashertown from a small British colony to a huge commercial and residential settlement has proven to be extremely exhilarating. You may have seen the lighthouse a couple of times in music videos and movies and may have perhaps even passed by it. Today on the Beauty of Ghana show we get to learn a little bit about the Jamestown Lighthouse. It is located in Jamestown in Accra, the capital town of Ghana. The earlier lighthouse that was built in 1871 was replaced with the current one which was built in the 1930s. It consists of a stone tower with lantern and a gallery attached to a keeper. The next time you visit Jamestown, know that this place is indeed filled with numerous landmarks and beauty and culture. It has been the beauty of Ghana show indeed promoting Ghana's tourism for development. My name is Mr. Zeke, the real African Abrante. Thank you for having me. Yeah.